This is called the runner's hip drive and you don't have to be a runner to get benefit from it. The setup has some details that are really important, so I'm gonna go over that, then show some reps and some common pitfalls and some ways to improve that. So the setup, we got a band above my knees. Usually go medium to heavy. I just have this red one so you can see it on the video. I'm gonna get one foot in front, the other foot back. I'm gonna have 80 to 90% of my weight on my front leg, so this back leg is just helping a little bit for balance, not a lot of work there. And then I'm gonna square my hips, meaning I'm not turned, but if I have a line or I got this mat on the floor, I want my bones of my hips to make a line that's parallel to that, so not skewed. And then I just want the low back in a relaxed position, so not arched and not coming forward, so just nice and relaxed through the torso. From there, before I start the movement, I wanna press my big toe and ball of the foot into the ground. So this is going down and flat. That helps anchor the foot in the arch. With that down, I'm gonna draw my knee out a bit. So center of my knee is going over my third to fourth toes. Um, and for most people, if you look straight down your shin, you should be able to see the inside bone or malleolus of your ankle and the entire arch of your foot. The shin is also fairly vertical. I'm not too far forward with my knee. So I'm not there, but that shin is vertical straight up and down. So that's my starting position. Then I'm gonna use my front leg to create all the motion here. I'm gonna think about pushing my foot down back pocket forward and drive up to a tall knee position here. Find stability and then I'm going to reach this foot back to come down. Driving down, pressing into the ground with the foot, driving up here, finding stability. Once you find that, we're going to come back. Each rep, I want to make sure you're not losing position of a knee wobble or toes kind of curling, which is going to lift the ball of your foot off. Not do anything weird with your back, find stability, drive up, pause, down, a bit slower. Drive up, pause, down a bit slower. If you wanna make it more challenging, you can grab a set of dumbbells and then we can just add a little bit of weight as we do that. All right, so that's the exercise. Here's what you should feel. So. I want to work mainly in the glute and hip of this front leg. You may feel some in the ankle and foot. If it's not a crazy burn there, that's okay. But I want to feel like the front glute is in charge here. And so what we're doing is we're finding stability on one leg in this mostly kind of single leg position with a little balance support. Squaring the hips, that often gives me access to some of these muscles or if I'm turned here, now my adductor or maybe my quad is gonna take over or my low back is arched. So I'm finding stability. And then from there, we're gonna work on driving with this leg and glute and coming to our full height without leaning back. And so one of the common issues I see across a variety of injuries from low back all the way down to foot and ankle is that getting stability and power from the hips, the posterior part, the glutes, can be a challenge. And so this exercise, for a lot of folks, can allow us to find what it means to get stable and power from the glutes. So we're getting stability and then pushing. So a couple cues I like, take what works, leave what doesn't, but thinking about putting force into the ground, now that physics law, every reaction has an equal opposite reaction. So putting force into the ground is something only our leg muscles can do. And when we're in this position, it biases more of the hip being able to, to do that. Whereas if my knee is further forward, then that's gonna be more my quad. Not inherently bad, but if we wanna get the hips, we're gonna get the hips back, reaching this foot back, kind of in this position here, and then I drive up. Um, so thinking about pushing into the ground, squishing something, um, variety of things to push in. Another cue we can think about is pushing the hips forward. So the torso can be almost like a lever. So if I'm forward like this, that's like I'm sending the foam roller at an angle. There's two ways I can get this to vertical. I can pull it from the top or push it from the bottom. And so a number of folks 
tend to use their low back, so they'll get here and they'll get low back momentum and end up in a bit of an arch, and then they're not getting the work through their hip, but they're pulling from up here. And I guess the other one that's related, even though I'm driving this knee up to this position, that's not where the momentum is coming from. So if I get a lot of power pushing with this leg, my right side just kind of follows along and maybe there's a little work towards the top. If you have any pain in the hip crease in this leg, just don't drive it quite as far. And that's totally okay. But for a lot of people, if this doesn't hurt, we're gonna get some hip flexor strength, but also getting this leg high helps me to get to full hip extension. So that's a nice straight line at my full height without arching backwards. Sometimes I see people do this and they kind of stay in a crouch position, just moving their knee or maybe here and back, but they're not getting opening of this hip. I know hip thrust can have, can have some connotations here, but kind of getting the hips forward, a kind of hip thrust activity or glutes, the glutes are a hip extensor. That often means behind us, but if the leg is starting in front, getting the glute going from front to here is still hip extension. And a lot of running and hiking, that's where we can get our power from. So let's say we're running, as my foot hits the ground, I wanna be able to drive through with my leg rather than feeling like I have to use my back for momentum or that I have to drive strong with my knee for momentum. These are our big power source muscles. And if I push through, that helps to get us going. Of course, in running the quads, the caps, lots of things are working, but we're trying to bias maybe a little more to be in the glutes. Same thing hiking uphill. This is just a step I'm going upstairs too. Foot is here. I want to drive, boom, from the glute. Same idea. So, um, number of different cues there, but the key is to get this set up and drive up using the hip. Um, if I set up with my foot turned out, knee in, it's harder to balance, harder to use the right muscles. If I set up with my back arched or tilted, and so getting everything straight and square allows us to access the muscles, and then we can find stability in some of these top and bottom positions and have some power velocity on the transition. So give that one a shot. Should create a fair bit of work through here. Um, can be a great warm-up drill before running or a great strength exercise in its own right.